five minute toned arms stretch band workout. Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Guthrow, helping you get lean and stay that way for the rest of your life. Today we're gonna focus on a very short workout, just five minutes, because I know all of you have five minutes in your life to do a workout. If you have five minutes to watch this video, you definitely have five minutes to do this workout. We're gonna focus on toning your arms. So I'm gonna show you some strength training moves you can do with nothing but just a resistance band. All the equipment you need for this is one stretch band. Very easy tool to have at home. This is small enough to fold up and put in your pocket. So really no excuses here with this workout. You only need five minutes, you only need one band you're good to go. If you don't have a loop band that's similar to this one, you can use a regular stretch band, tie a knot in it to create a loop. I'm also gonna use my interval timer to keep track of my work and rest periods. What we're gonna do for this one is 45 seconds of work with 15 second transition break periods between exercises. We have five exercises only and we're gonna spend one minute on each. If you get done with the five minutes of this workout and you feel like you can handle more, feel free to repeat it another two to three times for a complete 10 to 15 minute workout. I know you all can commit to this and you're gonna see the results and you're gonna love it. So let's get started with the workout right now. So I've set my timer for intervals of 45, 15 and I'm about to click start and we'll begin with the first work interval of the first exercise. So here we go. This exercise is called pull aparts. You wanna grab both sides of your stretch band, like basically loop your hands through and you're gonna stand nice and tall with your chin up and you're basically just pulling the stretch band apart. So Here's what it looks like from the front. Just pull it apart as far as you can. And of course, when you come back to the center, don't come all the way in or else you'll lose the tension. You wanna just come about that far in so you maintain the tension. So we'll continue reps like this for 45 seconds. And you really wanna focus on your breath. So exhale, inhale as you relax. Exhale, pull strong, inhale, relax. And if you start to shake, like you can probably see my arms kind of shake a little bit when I get to the outside, that's a good sign. That means your muscles are really working and feeling it. So that was the first exercise. We did 45 seconds. Now we're gonna do the alternating pull down. So I'm gonna take a kneeling stance like this on one knee, take the stretch band between the hands and overhead. And we're gonna go alternating sides, pulling wide to the right, then wide to the left. So these, both of these exercises are also working your back muscles, which is really important part of getting toned arms. You wanna work your major muscle groups of your upper body, as well as your minor muscle groups like your biceps and triceps. So do a lot of these like back exercises in your arm training routines. They will help you get more toned and have a really well-rounded looking physique. So alternating pull downs, make sure that you're really doing, using control with your movement. So not just like quick and sloppy, but really slow and really feel the muscles work. Make sure you keep your core tight. All right, good. So we're on the rest period now and we have three more exercises to go. This next one is tricep extensions and we're gonna do 20 seconds on each side, one side at a time. So I'm gonna place one hand on the shoulder with the stretch band and then I'm gonna be pushing down like this. So just keep a flat hand push down to straighten your arm. So I'll have to keep my eye on the clock for this one, make sure I get 20 seconds on each side. We have about five seconds to switch sides. Yes, good. And here we go, switching sides, shoulder, hand on shoulder, and go. So aim to really feel your tricep muscle fire up at the bottom of that rep. Keep a slight bend in your knees, athletic training stance at all times. Whenever you're working out, you wanna have an athletic stance. So we're almost there, push. Okay, good. So we're gonna move on to the next fourth exercise, which is the bent rows. For this one, I'm gonna take a grip with my palms facing the outside and then squeeze onto the resistance band. I'll turn to the side to show you the side view. You're gonna bend over, make sure you have a flat back. Now you'll pull the resistance band a little bit apart, hold it that way, and then you're gonna row towards your rib cage and then relax. So make sure you really squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you and you flare your elbows out wide. So give you a little side angle from here so you can see how wide my elbows are getting. 
and see that I have tension on the band the entire time. So we're gonna go a little bit faster here, but again, make sure that your reps are really controlled and not too fast so that they get sloppy. Let's keep that tension on the band. You should be really feeling some burn in your arms. Yes, almost there, two seconds. Good. Okay, the last exercise, we're gonna hit the front of our arms now. This is the bicep. So I want you to step into the band with your left foot and grab onto the top of the band with your right hand. You can make a fist around that resistance band, then step back so you're in a semi-lunge position like this, and you're gonna do curls toward your shoulder. So curl it up, and then release. So you're really focusing on this muscle here, which is your bicep. And pull that resistance band, and then relax. Good, so keep going. And now we switch sides, because it's only 20 seconds on each side for these ones. Okay, go. 20 seconds on this side. It's really important that you train all of the muscles in your arms, back, chest, and shoulders to get a really well-rounded and toned look all over. Almost there, guys. One more. Yes. All right, good. So you have another 15 seconds of recovery time and then your workout is complete unless you choose to continue on with another two to three rounds. So while quick, short strength training routines like this one will help you achieve your goal of getting toned and sexy looking arms, it's also important that you know that tone is created by getting an overall lean body fat percentage. So if you are confused on where to begin and how to start to achieve a lean body percentage, we have programs for you. I encourage you to check out my lean fitness model body physique program called Live Lean Formula for Women. I've been getting women all over the world to get not just stronger, not just fitter, but also more lean and toned. Nutrition is also a really big part of getting a lean body fat percentage, so make sure you're not just eating less, but you're eating well. Lean and toned looking athletes don't diet and exercise, we train and we eat right. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I'll see you next week at the next one. In the meantime, keep living lean.